Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Secret Files Tunguska with me, Classic Gamer. Last time, well, we managed to um, get the, get to this old man. He wants us to prepare a recipe, so we're going to do that. A few drops of the intoxication. Ketchup is made of tomatoes. Tomatoes belong to the Nightshade family. That could be the connection to the Blood of the Night reference. I'll try it. If I touch that stuff, I have no idea if it is under protection, but it is so pretty that I would really like to make an exception and leave it in one piece. Five parts from the source of life. Got it. Come on, let's go walk right over here. I know. They're under the protection of nature conservation laws. I'll be very careful. The plant will hardly fit in there. It is almost halfway fresh. What? What should I do with this drought victim? The sulfur fumes have gone. Only that horrible smell is there. I could press out the gentian bulb with that. But then the juice would run all over the place. Well, that must be the right doses. Depending, of course, on the bulb being meant as the root of tears. Well, this is um, turning into something I'm actually being able to do on my own. I, I know this is obvious. Hopefully this witch's brew doesn't blow up in my face. I have no idea when the stuff is ready. But before it all evaporates... Evaporate? That's it to be taken before it unites with the wind. Then the medicine must be finished. I wouldn't drink that for all the money in the world. I hope it helps the old man, though. Drink, old man. I hope that helps. I'll never guess that. Thanks. My pleasure. What happened? A little difference of opinion with the guards. Guards? From the research station? Yes, I... 
Oh, it's not important. Not so important? You nearly died. But I'm alive. And you aren't just here to help me, are you? You have some questions. Yes. How did you know? Your eyes betray you. The eyes betray everyone. And your eyes. I know your eyes. They were here once a long time ago. Me? I was most certainly not. Yes, they were. But they weren't in the body of a young woman. You're the daughter of... What was his name again? Vladimir Kalenkow? You know my father? Yes. Vladimir was his name. He came to me back then, like you are today. With the same eyes. I need your help. If you knew my father, then you can also tell me what happened here all those years ago. I'm only a shepherd. I've always been a shepherd. And I will remain a shepherd for the rest of my life. But... I know my place in life, and you should know yours, too. Listen to the words of a simple man. My son didn't listen to me. What do you mean? You want to know what happened here almost 50 years ago, and what is happening here today. My son was also curious. He didn't want to listen to me. He found a strange piece of metal in the woods, and he asked questions. The wrong questions to the wrong people. I never saw him again. There are things that we are just not meant for. If we don't realize this... Old man, your words may be very wise, but my father is in danger and I need your help. I know. I can see it in your eyes. You really are just like your father. I also warned him, but he didn't want to listen to me either. He entered the cursed realm of the Ogdi. The evil Thunderbirds that had been sent to cause endless sickness since the year of the Great Catastrophe. Your father ignored my warning, and his companion must have paid dearly for it. I know that I cannot stop you, so I will tell you where your father had his camp back then. Follow the northern path until you reach the swamps, and you will find what you are looking for. But always remember my words. Be careful in everything you do. Things happen here that no one can even begin to imagine. The Evanc was right. The atmosphere here is real strange. So unreal. Even if perhaps a good portion of superstition is involved, I have a strange feeling here. And then the story with the Thunderbirds and the endless sickness. Pull yourself together, Nina. You're just exhausted. There are no Thunderbirds, and any phenomenon, no matter how mysterious, can be explained rationally. Hopefully. What the fuck was that? I was wasping it in for a minute. That must be the site that the old man spoke of. My father started his expeditions from here. Maybe I'll find an explanation here of how the events of the past link with the kidnapping of my father. Okay, let's have a look then, shall we? An 8mm film projector. Considering its age and the fact that it's not professionally handled here, it is not in bad condition. The small windows are absolutely filthy. Nothing happens.
A small metal pin. There is nothing special to see, but then again, it is pitch black in there. Inside, the windows are almost clean. The small windows are absolutely filthy. The small windows are absolutely filthy. Right, off you get, socks. Go on. Unless you want us just going to sit down and behave. Otherwise, you're really, like, you know, you're putting me off here. As an obedient little housewife, of course I know what my duties are. There, finished. Shall I make dinner now as well? See a water tank and generator. Well, we've already seen the the the, the uh, there's a tanker. An old drinking water tank. A generator, supplying the hut with power. A generator, supplying the hut with power. If I remember correctly, then that thing has something to do with magnetism and producing electricity. Wow, what a monster! I have to ask, even if I'm talking to myself. How did that thing get here? This has been plundered. Everything that can be taken off and carried is gone. There are only two small nuts here, and I am having them. Wow. Okay. There's still plenty of vodka in there. If I want the one spirit, I think I will have to get rid of the other. Nastarovia! Oops, I think I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> um, off you get. Okay guys, well I've run out of time now. So I'm going to call this a video. So thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button, drop me a like, and leave me a comment. I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.